Hey everyone, what's up? It's Greg Kohlberg here, and I'm on the technical enablement team at BMC. And I'm here to talk to you today about Blade Logic, uh, Blade Logic server automation specifically. And that's one of the products that I specialize in. So, just to kind of talk about you know, Blade Logic and server automation and how it relates to other products at BMC. So, um, Blade Logic, so Blade Logic is actually a suite of products. And they call this like the Blade Logic Automation Suite. And within that, you have products like server automation and network, network automation, and so on and so forth. There's actually several different products that are part of the Blade Logic suite. But today, we're going to strictly talk about server automation. And, and lots of times, people, um, when they refer to Blade Logic, they re don't refer to the suite of products, which is all these here. This is the suite. But they refer to the server automation mostly because uh, the Blade Logic server automation product uh, came from the Blade Logic uh, Blade Logic acquisition. And what happened after that acquisition is that a lot of the products uh, that were similar um, in, I guess, the uh, automation world uh, or automation concept were renamed or named or categorized under the server automation. Um, uh, suite here. So this can also be referred to as BSA for BMC server automation or maybe even Blade Logic server automation. So let's talk about actually why people buy it. So uh, very simply, uh, server automation addresses a very simple problem. So we have an administrator here and this is, you know, he's happy because he's got maybe like you know, a couple dozen servers. Let's say each one of these represents like 10 or a dozen servers that he needs to manage on a regular basis. And he's a member of many different administrators at a typical company where admin, say Bob, <laughs> and he needs to manage, you know, each of these different servers here. And part of the things that he needs to do is uh, make sure that they're patched, uh, make sure uh, the applications are up to date, so uh, and maybe even deploy new applications. So app deployment, and let's see some of the other things is you know depending on Bob's role here, depending on the size of the company, maybe compliance. So maybe making sure they're secure and whatnot, and um, you know amongst a lot of other kind of general configuration updates, right? So maybe administrating users or making config changes, whatever. Um, these are all typical tasks that you know, Bob does on a daily basis or quarterly basis, weekly, however you want to look at it, uh, for his group of, say, 40 or you know, 48 servers here, depending on whether this is, <laughs> represents 10 or a dozen. But anyway, that's, I guess, fairly typical. But what's happening in most environments, and has been happening for a really long time now, is that server growth has been skyrocketing, right? So if you're a company and you have servers, um, they're growing and growing and growing. And, you know, the reality is that Bob here has a cost, right? So um, we can't just keep hiring more and more admins, right? So, um, you know, it's very expensive to have all these administrators. And never mind the cost, just the human element of managing these particular servers here can be very error prone and lots of um, data center outages are due to human the human factor right so um, something was patched incorrectly or something was just strictly uh, not compliant or a configuration change was made um, outside of a change window that caused an outage and this again costs more money to the company more problems and um, you kind of get the picture here so the idea with Blade Logic is that we kind of put this layer in between where over here we have the servers and my box drawing is going to be a little messed up here. So let's say here's our servers here and we're going to move them a little bit further away from Bob's reach because we're going to put a layer of administration or sorry, a layer of automation in between and we're going to er eliminate all these arrows here. So all these arrows, I'm going to try to erase them best that I can because um, we don't want really Bob to um, be manually making these changes anymore and because there's just way more servers that are popping up, right? So more servers, these are growing. Sometimes these can be physical servers, these can, these can be virtual servers. No matter what, they need to be managed by someone, right? They need to be patched, they need to be compliant, they need to meet all these you know, different requirements of the business, right? So this is just growing and growing and growing and getting out of control. Well, 
in comes BSA to the rescue, right? So they buy Blade Logic and this B BSA, and this is kind of our BSA infrastructure here. And very simply, um, we install and configure BSA. This infrastructure consists of many different components. And in order for BSA to work, we have to put a little agent on every machine that we want to manage. And we can deploy these agents in a variety of ways, but this essentially serves as the connection between BSA, the you know, Blade Logic infrastructure here, and the servers in the environment that we want to manage. And this basically opens up that communication. And for those who actually care, this is typically 4750, right? This is the default port. You can change that to whatever you want. And now Bob here, he has this centralized interface, you know, one nice kind of place where he can now see and manage all of these servers in one place. You know, no more logging on to individual boxes. It's very time consuming. No more individual patching them and no more doing individual compliance and configuration. And I can go on and on. You get the point. So the idea being in BSA, you, if you want to do something like a patch or, you know, if you want to deploy some patches or even just do an analysis, you create some sort of job here and you define it and you then run it against you know any number of servers so you can say run it against all servers and you know groups of servers whatever you want and the same thing uh, the same concept applies for deployment so if you want to deploy those patches it's one job and you deploy and this basically turns bob into um, you know, a super user from managing, say, 50 servers to managing 500 servers or, you know, however many Bob can reasonably, you know, automate and manage within, you know, the, <laughs> the things that he needs to do on a daily basis. So um, I guess that's all I'll cover for now. Um, and uh, yeah, that's basically what PlayLogic is. It's a centralized interface for providing a, you know, less human approach to managing servers and a much more automated approach. All right, thank you very much.